Hello, I'm Chris Fowler. Welcome to Sports Century. Steve Carlton ruled his domain like a ninja warrior, mixing heat, precision, and movement with blinding effect. Although the four-time Cy Young Award winner expressed his talent with fastballs and sliders, the eye of that talent lay in a mind as foreign to baseball as geometry is to chewing tobacco. Never was that eye more focused than in the summer of 1972. 1972 was the most amazing year I can remember in my 60 years of baseball. Every time uh, he pitched, we felt we were going to win, and every time he didn't pitch, we felt we were going to lose. His comment was, today's win day. He would say that every single start. Today's win day. And that spread throughout our baseball team. We really felt when he was on that mound, we couldn't lose. He won 27 games on a team that won 59 ball games. So, I mean, he was the Philadelphia Phillies that year. Koufax could win 27 games, but with a first place team. I mean, he's winning that many with the last place team. It's not only the best season he ever had, it's one of the best seasons any pitcher has ever had. In 1972, Carlton accounted for 46% of Philadelphia's victories, the largest share by any pitcher in history. With 310 strikeouts and a 1.98 earned run average, he won pitching's triple crown and his first Cy Young Award. When you say lefty, and everyone in both leagues knows exactly who you're talking about, the pitcher must be pretty good. And what made this pitcher, Carlton, so great was a slider. You dreaded getting two strikes on you, you know, because you knew that eventually, at some point in time during that at bat, you were going to get that slider that's going to break down on your back foot. Swing and a miss, a slider down and in, and he struck him out. I can remember the first time I caught him, it was just like, wow, this is what it's supposed to be like. He had a slider that, if you swung at it, it disappeared in the dirt, and if you took it, it stayed right there for a strike. This thing actually had as much break. Uh, in the hitting zone as, as any pitcher, and it looks good. It looks like you got it, and it just goes right on out of the hitting area. I always thought there wasn't a lefty alive that I couldn't hit, uh, but I hit him less than just about everybody else. Watching it from shortstop, I can honestly tell you I've never seen a right-handed hitter swing and miss at so many pitches from a left-handed pitcher. If Carl Hubble is to go down in baseball history as having the best screwball, and Sandy Koufax the best curveball, well, certainly, Steve Carl had the best slider 